is currently 710. You know, as I've gotten older, I've come to the conclusion that I'm not a morning person. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Margaret. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so that whenever I do post a video, you are the very first to see it because over here, all right, y'all, let's get into it. Today is Vlogtober. I keep saying Vlogmas. I don't know why. Um, today is Vlogtober, day five, y'all. We doing it, we doing it, we doing it. And we will be right. The reason why I'm up so early, I need to hurry up, is because my church, we have a women's ministry. We have our first women event. And it's called Daughters of Grace. And basically, we're having a coffee and conversations and prayer with our first lady. So for those who don't know, I go to Word of God Christian Fellowship Church. And it's in Cyprus. It say Cyprus, but y'all, it's like on the outskirts of Cyprus. And I love it. We've been going to that church for over a year now. And man, like, it's crazy because I can't believe it's been a year now this year made it a year and my pastor is newly married and so um i'm excited because i've never actually it's interesting because when i was like, at home i never actually went to any of my first ladies event like y'all it's not until now that i'm on my own that i've like been getting involved involved for real. so when the colors are like nude burgundy olive greens you know the fall colors today so at first i thought i was gonna wear the outfit um the green dress that i wore that i was showing y'all yesterday but i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna actually just actually do the nude one that i had that looked just similar to that which i don't know yet we're we gonna see y'all but yeah, so let me go ahead and get dressed. That's really the only big thing that I have for, this, for today. Nothing crazy. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And I'll also be filming. Um, so my church never really like asked me to help film anything. It's just, it's a gift that I have. And so... I've just been doing it. I honestly, I enjoy it. It's a way for me to one, learn more, and two, they actually do want me on the um, marketing media team, but we haven't really discussed that yet. I love it. So I'll probably be recording some of the event today and show y'all behind the scenes of what's going on. I'm excited. I need to hurry up though, because I actually need to have, need to leave the house at eight eyebrows are not coming out how I want them to come out. This is not cute. Oops. All right, y'all, so it's 7.36, which I'm doing good on time. I need to be done so that I can um, do my, uh, wear my, fit, find my outfit, first of all. So I have this idea to wear a new, the new dress, but I'm like, sometimes it'd be cold inside of my church. So I'm like, uh, do I just want to throw on a sweater on it? So that, you know, if I had a cardigan that kind of went with it, I would have done it. But I do have this off the shoulder sweater that I can throw on. But so we're going to see. We're going to see. Because I did kind of want to do that look where you like wear a sweater and then you have like a skirt at the bottom. Um, but none of my cardigan, like none of my, <clears throat> I don't really have like the sweater that I had it in mind, don't I don't have that. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is 
throwing on this sweater on top of and if I get cold I can always take the sweater off so I like that idea better so we gonna see I just wanted to show y'all how I tried it <laughs> this is not cute <laughs> in my head let me turn that eyes up in my head it looked cute but I was expecting this to be more big and flowy and it's not <laughs> and even if like this this is not cute this is not cute so I might just have to do the dress on its own <laughs> or should I wear all the green one yeah, I'm gonna try on. I'm not gonna put this sweater on, but I will do the I'll try the olive green one on. Let's see what that looks like. All right, y'all. So I found it. I'm just going to do this simple olive green dress. Um, I'm gonna wear some flats, put on some jewelry, and make it all come together. And go do my hair because this don't look right with it. <laughs> don't y'all hate trying on an outfit and your hair is up and it ain't done? Your hair is up, so it made it don't make the outfit look cute. Um, yeah, and it's morning, so my stomach on flat flat. <laughs> so yeah, it's so cute. I love this dress so much. I look tiny, okay, girl. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and do all of that. So the perfume I'm gonna wear today, I'm actually going to mix. I'm gonna do. The Finery, the New Rogue, and then I'm going to do the Angel Sun, I meant Jungle Sun Towel. So we are ready. I'm going to go ahead and wear my Coach purse. Um, it's a black one. Figure I just wear it because it's a little and dainty. And I wore my Tory Bread shoes. Y'all see it a lot because these are the only sandals that I have. <laughs> and I, don't, I haven't found any sandals that I actually really liked. So I got to go ahead yeah. <laughs> So I made it back home. I, we have to debrief. We, we, we really do because it was so much to unpack from today's event. However, we're going to take a, a short intermission because <laughs> we're actually about to go look at this house that we found. And it's so nice inside, y'all. It's like a five bedroom home. Really nice. One of the things that my husband and I wanted to do this year in general was to like go to house tours like just look at different houses spark our imagination spark our dreams on what it is that we want and don't want and see kind of the stuff we like and don't like so this opportunity just opened so we were like okay let's just go see it like it doesn't hurt y'all and we're not even looking for a home right now but hey if god say otherwise god say otherwise but yeah, we're about to go look at this house and I have to show y'all. Ooh, I, the pictures look amazing. So I really hope it's giving that in person. Um, cause that's the worst. Looking for, looking at a house online and then going there and seeing that it's not what the pictures look like. Mm -mm. And then we'll come back and then we'll debrief on today's event. All right. Bye. Welcome to our home. <laughs> oh, babe, you gotta, uh, come to the door and, and i'll be like welcome to my entry. so that i can show y'all how cute this house is it's so funny because it's a five bedroom and like we don't have any kids yet but i feel like we setting up for them you know what i mean we want four already so 
Yeah, y'all, I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm excited. Like, I'm finna buy that. Like, we finna get it today. Never. But, hey, you never know. <laughs> y'all i'm back y'all first of all my neck hurts so bad so i slept the other night two nights ago i slept on my neck the wrong way and i kid you not it hurt so bad like it was worse when i initially got up that morning but anywho the event was amazing okay so let me backtrack a little bit so we just went to go see the house and it's so crazy what all goes into like buying a home like i just feel like if for the house that we're gonna be putting money down on i feel like it just has to be perfect like i mean i get everything won't always be perfect but i want to at least feel like it's worth me putting this money down you know what i mean so and like it's a property that i'm gonna you know have potentially for a very long time you know so um it's a lot that goes into that so even though the inside was gorgeous it was nice there were still some things that were like uh for example it didn't have a lot of cabinet space and there was a gorgeous mirror like attached to the wall but it was kind of like why is it there the outside was terrible like the backyard was just terrible like when i say terrible you can tell that someone the person who lived there before had a pet had a pet because it was poop all in the backyard and then like one of the main main things that was like a no-go which is why it made us wonder why because we were trying to figure out why this house been on the market so long well there is a sewer in the back like a sewer in the back and that was like a no like no it was don't get me wrong it was nice um i think the asking price was three three hundred thousand twenty i don't know i can't remember exactly um but yeah it just wasn't worth it to us for sure i'm not gonna hold you the house that we're in now spoiled us with the cabinet spaces so if I'm gonna move into a new house that I'm paying for, trying to own, I need to have a lot of cabinets. But yeah, like I said, it was it was it was really good to just see like stuff we liked and didn't like. Um, I thought that was cool. So we're gonna just keep doing it. Now let's talk about the event. The event was so amazing. So first, it started off with, as you can see, well, I'll, I'll insert some clips. Um, when you walked in to your right, you see like a bouquet of flowers where everyone get the chance to create their own flowers. Because at the end of the day, like we want to give back to ourselves. We all deserve flowers. And so we were able to create our own, which was really nice. And then we had breakfast. And then we went into the sanctuary where we basically got to know more about our first lady. So one thing that I thought was interesting was, um, I think because, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier while I was doing my makeup, but there are people I have found that they really be needing like a first lady. Like they really be needing that, be needing them. And um, they, people like really yearn for that relationship. Not saying Okay, so you know how, like, there are some people who just yearn for that relationship? Truthfully, 
nothing against anybody, but I just didn't because I grew up with women like my entire life. And so I felt like, I don't know, my mom and aunties, like, I just, I just never yearned for a first lady. Let's just say that. And so there are people who do, and I didn't realize that that was a thing until like, I've gotten older to like talk to different women and hear their perspectives, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just like goes to show um, how everyone different have a different upbringing and just like what may seem important to one person is not important to the, another person, you know. So I say all that to say that I'm grateful to have the women that I have in my life because they've helped shape me to who I am today. And so her being like the first lady at our church like now like I've never really like in my old church from back home like I wasn't really if we're being honest on my own like I was never really that involved at home like my mom used to do or does a young adult ministry or the teen girls like I, we would help her with that but like for me to actually do it on my own like it just wasn't, I would never really, I didn't do it. And so now doing that now is just like such an eye opener because I think the time was perfect for me to be involved the way that I am now. And I'm grateful for it because like I have a community of like, like-minded women and men um, that is around my husband and I to uplift us and help us on days that like we just don't really feel like doing the thing so but anyways we got done doing that and once we got into the sanctuary we basically got to know more about our first lady um being able to just hear more of her story because we've kind of already heard it um quite a few times so to hear it now in a different light it was awesome it was awesome she's very poised very sophisticated very like she's pretty dope Let's just say that. Um, and so um, it was really nice. And there were a few women that shared some of their stories, which also to be in an audience group of, with a group of women, like, everyone has a story. And like what one woman may have gone through is very similar to something that someone has gone through. And so like, oh my gosh, we were like in tears just hearing about the different stories and it wasn't even that many women who spoke um it just hit home for a lot of people but anyways i love y'all don't forget to subscribe um hit the bell notification so that whenever i do post a video you are the very first to see it i love y'all i love y'all i love y'all so much bye <music>